Greetings gamers, HB here. I'm here at E3 with Holger, who's going to tell us about a very exciting game for you Trekkies called Star Trek Infinite Space. So tell us all about it, Holger. Okay, let's start here. Uh, basically, a couple of um, basic things about Star Trek Infinite Space. It is actually the first completely browser-based game that's officially uh, licensed from CBS. So we are allowed to take all the content uh, of the game shows, of the movies. And uh, this game is, uh, as I said, it's a browser-based game. So uh, there's no download required. You can just hop in your browser. It doesn't matter if it's Linux, if it's uh, a Mac, or if it's a Windows PC. You just need a browser type in the web address and then here we go. You can buy ships here, you can you can have a choice of several ships. And uh, you can, what's, what's more interesting, you can equip your ships with uh, several systems. And this is this is maybe the most interesting part of this. If, you, if, if we look to our ship here and we go to configuration, we have different slots here available. So, uh, and by using uh, like different tactical science or engineering equipment that you can, during the game progression, you can, you can always like, like make it better and better. With this, all the, all the systems, you have uh, many choices. So especially if you're in, into group play, uh, up to five people can go into one mission. Uh, you can, you can like act, as a, as a, act your certain role and, and therefore be, be better than, than the other group. Now, is this yeah. uh, human only, or are you able to use other species for the game? Uh, you can. In the beginning of the of the game, you have first the choice to play uh, on the on the Klingon side or on the Federation side. On the Federation side, you can play several races. On the Klingon side, uh, you can play the Klingons. Uh, but the, the Federation and the Klingon side, they follow different storylines. Uh, of course, they meet again, uh, uh, but but those are like if you're if you're fed up with playing the the federations, why don't you play a Klingon for it for a while? Uh, but if we if we look at that, you're not only the captain; you have a whole crew. Uh, you see here tactical, science, engineering, security, and medical. So this basically means uh, uh, you can you can level those those different crew members. And later in the game, you have several choices. And if you, for example, in the game, you always do the science choice then your science officer will grow better and better and in future science choices you will have a higher higher success chance so this is basically a little bit like the skills there are there are several types of mission in the game there are story missions we have a main story arc the main storyline was written by by Lee Sheldon okay. he is a, uh, a story writer also for the uh, uh, next generation uh, mm -hmm. TV series so uh, but besides those main storyline arc missions uh, we also have like side missions that you can do over and over again because you really want to have this rare drop or there are battle scenarios where you can like in a group you can grow better and better and also get some uh, uh, good items and if you play in a group you get better items of course it's like in world of warcraft uh, for example if you want the t7 uh, equipment you really need to uh, go in the in the big uh, groups the, the storyline setting is in the Deep Space Nine uh, setting, uh, Star Trek Deep Space Nine, where the Jem Hadar are um, uh, doing the uh, Dominion War. i show you the weapon system a little bit. So now we have an auto phaser, very wide range, low damage. We have a manual phaser, lower range, uh, but higher damage. And we have some torpedoes. So you see in these torpedoes, this torpedo, for example, can only shoot in this area. This torpedo, so you need to see where you're going. Now about about controls of this of this uh, game, you can control it basically only with the mouse. I'll do this now. So I just control the direction by where I where I put my mouse, and I control the speed by how how far I move it outside of the circle. So that's a very easy uh, control system. And if I want to use the the weapon systems later. I can just use the one, two, three, four, five uh, 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 keyboard buttons, or I can just press it here, whatever I, I, I prefer. So we can, and we got this this uh, little triangle here showing us where to go. There's also a um, not a satellite, a, a map, a mini map. So now I can select, for example, the ship and start to attack. And now we now we're going to help the Defiant uh, destroying the the enemy ships. Um, also, uh, 
So what I'm doing is I'm I'm clicking on the enemy ships and then I'm choosing my weapon system. Let's let's do a torpedo now. All right. Okay, here so now we see loot, we can beam the loot on board. Uh, later, as I told, we can use the, this uh, loot to, to build up our systems. For GirlGamer.com, this is HB Duran, and uh, live long and prosper.